What's up you guys? Oh, it's been such a long day. I haven't done any work on the bus today, but I am about to start. I'm about to change that. It's a beautiful day here in Nashville. It's 70, it was 77 earlier, so it's in the 70s, which is really nice. If you're new here, I just wanted to say that for the last eight months, I've been living in this van that I converted uh, into a little tiny house. And I recently just bought this bus and I'm getting started on it. And I still haven't taken the school bus stickers off the front or the back because it's been raining. And I've just been doing a ton, a ton of research um, on bus builds in general. So today I am actually going to start demolition inside and I'm gonna start trying to take down the ceiling and removing the insulation that's inside of that. I did though go to Home Depot and I picked up a few more tools. So let me show you what I got because um, I've been watching two channels in particular that have been a huge, tremendous help to me as far as learning as much as I can about a bus build. Um, before I did the van build, I helped do a shed to house. I've helped, you know, on a tiny house. If you've been around long enough, you know that. If you are new to me and uh, who I am, I've I do have experience building, but I've never done a bus. And another thing is, I've never touched electrical. So. The fact that it's a bus is going to be a challenge and also doing the electrical by myself. I am just trying to learn as much as possible for that because I do plan on getting solar, but I have, I have no experience with electrical. So that's a huge thing for me right now, trying to figure stuff out, but that's something that will be, um, <laughs> that's a challenge that I'll face down the road a little further. So I will handle that when I get there. So the two channels that I've been binge watching like crazy that have really helped me figure some things out has been um, Navigation Nowhere. I have mentioned him a couple times. A lot of you actually told me to go watch his channel and that's how I initially started binge watching it. And I had already watched a couple of his videos, um, but it was because of you guys that suggested to go watch him that I did and I've been literally I haven't watched all of his videos. I went back and watched some for his first bus that he did. And then um, he just got a short bus, kind of a little longer than this one. And so I've been watching his whole build from day one and I'm working my way up. And so that's helped a lot. And then the other channel that I've been watching a lot too, his his channel and his name is Matthew, Matthew Maderick. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'll link both of those channels in the description below if you guys are thinking about doing a bus, if you're looking into a bus, if you're just curious about it. Uh, those are two great channels to watch that have helped me personally a lot. So that being said, I went and bought an impact drill, a grinder, a hand sander. So I'm sticking to Roby. Those are the batteries that I have. I do have two batteries. I will get more extra batteries. It's just not in the budget right this second. I'll probably do that in a couple weeks. And then I also got a hammer, a good one because I don't have a hammer. And last but not least, I got a crowbar. Those are all the tools that I have added to my tool collection. I'm literally starting with no tools. Any time in the past that I've ever worked on anything, uh, the tools did not belong to me. So it's nice to have my own now. I think I've done enough talking. Let's go ahead and start looking at the inside and start maybe trying to take some of this stuff down. All right. So I'm going to start here on these and hopefully this comes down fairly easy or at least not it's not gonna be too hard to take this stuff out. Um, like I said, I'm doing this on my own and I'm currently attending the YouTube university to kind of figure everything out. So yeah, I'm gonna just jump right into it and see how it goes.
easier than I was thinking it was going to be, but thank you God because it was not as um, difficult as I was anticipating, so happy about that. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then we can start taking this stuff down. Man, my arms are so tired. I did arms today and uh, that's probably a bad call on my part, but some of the screws are stripping really bad, so I'll have to figure that out. But I have not eaten today. Uh, let's see what time it is. It's 6.45 and I haven't eaten today. And I'm almost out of uh, room on my memory card, so. I'm going to call it a day for today. I was busy doing other stuff this morning, but first thing in the morning, I'm gonna be back in here working on this and uh, hopefully I get a lot done. So I will see you guys tomorrow. What's up? It's day two. Well, I guess it's not day two, it's just another day. Um, you'll be hearing a lot of stuff going on in the background because the neighbors are doing a bunch of work to their house because it got some damage to, done to it whenever the tornado hit last year. I guess they're just now getting around to fixing it. But I got something in the mail today and I wanted to open it up with you guys um, from Jaws. Let's see. Oh, the journey along with Shannon. Sent me a shirt. Oh. That's so cute. I love it. And it's Texas and red, white, and blue. Two of my favorite things. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shannon. And it's just the type of shirt that I like. These are always my favorite type of t-shirts. And I'm big on t-shirts. So thank you so much. <clears throat> but I need to pick up all the little screws from the roof and I so okay so I ran into a problem but I think I think I know what to do to fix it so on some of these screws some of them are just popping out and it's been fairly easy and some of them are just stripped and I cannot get them out so I'm gonna go through all of this take out as many as I can and then I'm going to show you guys what I plan to do to try and get out the ones that are stripped. Hopefully it works. I'm not a professional. I don't have any idea what I'm doing when it comes to a destruction of the bus. I have never converted a bus, let alone did demo on a bus. So this is all a learning curve for me. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully things go somewhat smoothly. They never do, but it's good to hope. Have some hope.
So I got as many screws out as I could. Um, some of them, like I said, are stripped, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. One thing I did think about, but I didn't think about, is the emergency hatch. Um, I'm gonna have to take that out, or I'm going to take that out. I'm actually, I was going to keep this because I thought it was cool, but I don't like the way it opens. So I think I'm actually gonna put some type of skylight in it, one that will open. I think that'll be a lot cooler. And so I'm gonna take the whole emergency exit out but it's supposed to rain a whole bunch and I keep forgetting to buy a tarp from Home Depot. So I will leave that for today and I will go buy a tarp because I've gone to Home Depot every day this week. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning out this front area and just get that over with. So I'm gonna go get some like gloves and trash bags and whatever else I think I might need. I'll be back. So I got a bunch of cleaning stuff. It might be a little excessive, but I'm not trying to let any of this inside of my body via the eyes mouth or nose thanks mom for the cleaning glass <laughs> guys can see it at all but there was definitely a little bit of rat poop that, or mouse poop I don't know but um there wasn't a whole whole lot so that's good it does smell really bad though which it's just gonna take some some elbow grease will be fine I took out all of this I'm just gonna throw that away and I think my mom's about ready we're gonna head to the gym and then I'm gonna go to Home Depot and get a tarp so that I can finish taking down the ceiling and I'll probably have one of my brothers help me with that when I initially bought this bus I did not think that I was going to do some of the some of the things that I'm planning on doing I kind of wanted it to be a minimal build and I was thinking about leaving, you know, the ceiling, even keeping the walls, just repainting them and cleaning everything up. But knowing that this is gonna be my home for the next few years, possibly, um, I definitely think that I want to go ahead and just do it right uh, the first time. It's probably gonna take longer than I initially wanted it to, especially, I mean, budget-wise and experience-wise, this is all trial and, trial and error. Uh, like I said, I've never built out a bus before, so, you know, I'm doing tons of research. And another channel, too, that I did find that has been a big help is uh, Meredith and Paco. I love their channel. She's so funny. And I've been binge watching them like crazy. They're doing a huge bus though. And they've been doing it for, I think like two years, which I mean, I imagine that that is such a huge task. Like I, I don't ever see myself wanting to build a big, big bus, um, to live in for myself, especially by myself. So I will link uh, all of those channels in the description, but I'm definitely going to completely gut this bus and I'm going to be taking out the windows. Um, I'll be, oh, I guess these windows are black. All the, um, a lot of people paint their windows black and I was just gonna leave them silver because my appliances and stuff are gonna be silver, but I don't mind the black at all. So I'll just, I'm gonna clean them really good, possibly tint them. Not sure if that's something I really wanna do though. Um, 
but I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna go for it and I'm gonna get this thing. And like I said, I wanna put a skylight one that opens up, that, that'll be super awesome. And I did actually uh, get my fridge in the mail. I haven't opened it yet and it's, a, it's in a really big box. I will show you guys that next time or at least some point in the near future. Uh, I obviously don't need it right now, but I thought about opening it up and kind of at my mom's, everyone keeps like their stuff separate and like my mom has a mini fridge and my little brother has a mini fridge and so like everyone has their own stuff. And uh, so I figure this would be a good time to actually plug it in inside the house and you just keep my food in there and kind of see how much food I'm going to be able to have with me at all times, how long it's gonna last me and stuff like that because I didn't have a fridge in the van. I. I I, that was, that's something that I'm really excited about having in the bus. So, um, the fridge is not very big. It just came in a huge box and I can only imagine that it's a box inside of a box inside of a box because that's always how it goes. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up that mess, pick up all the screws that I just chunked everywhere. I was getting so frustrated. They kept getting stuck on the bit and I couldn't get them off. And then I'm going to go, go ahead and call it a day for right now anyways because i gotta go buy a tarp so i can get this ceiling down and keep gutting this bad boy but as always you guys thank you so much for watching i feel like i i didn't get a whole lot done but i got a little bit done but the thing about builds is you're constantly going to the store because you always forget stuff and it always sets you back but that's just something that i already have experience with and i just know that that's how it is so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, go buy that tarp so I can really get this thing down and I think I think next time I'll have a lot of progress I think I'm, I'm going to have my brother help me also so maybe get a lot more done a lot faster so thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you guys on the next one